Hey everyone, you might have heard about ChatGPT and its insane power to provide solutions to different problems. In this video, we are going to experiment something with ChatGPT. We will ask ChatGPT some questions from the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam. And let's see if ChatGPT can get passing score or will it fail. So AWS Cloud Practitioner is a foundational exam recommended for people who are completely new to the AWS or cloud space. And to pass the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, you require 700 out of 1000 points, which is like seven questions correct out of 20, 10 questions. So let's ask ChatGPT 10 questions and see if it can get a passing score uh, or not. All right, so I'm here on my computer screen and I have my ChatGPT opened as well. You can see ChatGPT is the latest version. It has been released two days ago. Let's start with the video. Hey ChatGPT, I want to try an experiment for my YouTube video. Are you ready? So it says, yes, I'm ready. ChatGPT is ready as well. So let's go ahead. To test this out, we have uh, practice questions from the AWS exam uh, page. And we have these questions, 10 questions with answers at the bottom. And we'll see if ChatGPT can get all of these correct or not. So please consider subscribing to CloudChamp. Your support means a lot. So please subscribe. I post videos on AWS Cloud, DevOps tools and technologies. So subscribe and let's start. Let's ask ChatGPT the first question, which is going to be, why is AWS more economical than traditional data centers for application with varying compute workloads? So here the question has compute which means this is going to be related to EC2 and they are talking about economical. So why is it more cost effective than using traditional data centers? So you have four options here and let's see if ChatGPT can answer those or not. So we have the first option as Amazon EC2 cost are built on monthly basis. Users can retain full administrative access to their Amazon EC2 instances. This is not related to cost. So I don't think that is going to be the answer. Amazon EC2 instances can be launched on demand when needed. This is true and can be a cost solution because you can launch and delete whenever you want. So you don't have to pay when you're not using it. Then you have users can permanently run enough instances to handle peak workloads. This is also not related to what the question is asking. Let's see if ChatGPT can answer it correctly. So according to the uh, AWS, if I show you the correct answer here, the correct answer is C, which is the ability to launch instance when needed allow users to launch instance. So the correct answer is C here. Let's see what ChatGPT has to say for this and as you can see ChatGPT has given us the correct answer as well which is see amazon ec2 instances can be launched on demand when needed and it gives you the explanation why is it correct so you can if you're preparing for aws cloud practitioner here you go you can also get the solution and the example and the explanation by ChatGPT. so now ChatGPT has scored one let's go and see if it can answer this next question as well so we have the next question here let's try to ask it so the next question is, which AWS service would simplify the migration of database to AWS? So it's going to ask, it's trying to ask the name of the service, which is easy to migrate the database to AWS. You have storage gateway, database migration, EC2, AppStream 2.0. So my guess is this is going to be the answer, uh, but let's see what ChatGPT has to provide and what is this solution as well. So if I show you the correct answer on the AWS page, uh, it is indeed AWS database migration service. So this is here. You can see the AWS database migration help users migrate database and ChatGPT has given us the same answer as well. So DBA, AWS DMS or database migration is a fully managed service that makes it easy to migrate database to AWS quickly and securely. So ChatGPT has now scored two, which means it has given two answers correctly. Let's go and ask third question as well. So I have the third question here on my screen, which AWS offering enables user to find buy and immediately start using software solutions in their in AWS environment. So which of this uh, enables users? So I am pretty sure what the answer is, which is going to be the AWS marketplace, because that's where you can create buy stuff. For example, AMIs, uh, can be said, sold on AWS Marketplace. You can also buy AMIs on Marketplace, but let's see what is the correct answer according to Chad GPT. So yeah, the AWS Marketplace is an online store that enables users to find, buy, and immediately start using software solutions in their AWS environment. 
So the correct answer is going to be AWS Marketplace, but let's see what is the correct answer actually. So if I scroll down here, the correct answer is AWS Marketplace. Which AWS networking service enables company a company to create a virtual network within AWS? So a virtual network within AWS is going to be VPC. But let's see. So ChatGPT is going to answer it. And if I sh once it is answered, I'll show you the correct answer as well according to AWS. So it gives us that Amazon VPC is an AWS networking service that enables a company to create a virtual network within AWS. So now you can have seen, uh, let's compare this. So the correct answer according to AWS is Amazon VPC itself. So ChatGPT has given four out of four. I think ChatGPT is going to win this round. Let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT the fifth question. So the fifth question is going to be related to AWS shared responsibility model which is one of the topics of AWS CCP. Which of the following is an AWS responsibility under the AWS shared responsibility model? Configuring third-party applications, maintaining physical hardware, securing applications to access and data, managing guest operating system. You want to see what is AWS responsible for according to this. So I, let's see what ChatGPT has to answer. And according to ChatGPT, the answer is going to be managing guest operating system. So under the AWS shared responsibility model, AWS is responsible. So if I show you the answer here, this is going to be wrong because I think physical hardware is what AWS has to manage as they have the control. Uh, you as a user don't have the ability to manage the physical hardware. So it gives us that this is the correct answer. But on the other hand, the customer is responsible for securing the application. All right. It hasn't mentioned anything about this maintain physical hardware. But if I show you the correct answer here on the AWS page, the correct answer according to AWS is managing physical hardware is AWS responsibility under shared, which is absolutely correct. So ChatGPT has got one wrong, which means we have one wrong. So it's four out of five questions correct. Let's go and ask the sixth question. So this is related to global infrastructure. Which component of the AWS global infrastructure is Amazon CloudFront used to ensure low latency? Different components of global infrastructure like regions, edge locations, AZs, and VPCs. CloudFront uses edge locations for low latency delivery of comp content. I think edge location is going to be the answer, but let's see if ChatGPT can answer it or not. So according to ChatGPT, yeah, ChatGPT has given the correct answer, which is Amazon CloudFront is CDN and it uses edge location. According to AWS, the correct answer is B, which is edge location itself. So this is correct. It has got six out of five questions correct. Now let's go and ask the seven question to chat GPT on the screen. How would a system administrator add an additional layer of login security to users AWS management console? So you have different options like cloud directory, IEM roles, enable MFA and enable AWS cloud trail. So I think you might have already know the answer what it is. So it's going to be the multi-factor authentication, which allows you to enter a code when you log in. But let's see what chat GPT has to answer for this. So it is correct. Enable multi-factor authentication to add an additional layer of login security. And according to AWS, that's the correct answer as well. Let me show you that. So seventh answer is going to be enable multi-factor authentication. So ChatGPT has got this one correct as well. Let's go ahead. Eight question, which service can identify the user that made an API call when an Amazon EC2 instance is terminated? So which service can record API calls? It's going to be CloudTrail, but you also have other options here. So let's see what ChatGPT says about this. All right, so ChatGPT is says AWS CloudTrail is the answer for this because CloudTrail is a service that records all the API calls. And when an EC2 instance is terminated, an API call is uh, is created to terminate that instance. So whenever an API call is created, CloudTrail is going to record it and we will get to know who has terminated that particular instance. And according to AWS, the correct answer is for this question eight is going to be AWS CloudTrail. Is which service would be used to send alerts based on Amazon CloudWatch alarms? So this is to send notifications and I'm pretty sure this is going to be Amazon SNS. But let's see what ChatGPT has to say. 
which is correct. So, I'm, so ChatGPT has given us the correct answer that Amazon SNS is a flexible, fully managed pub sub messaging and mobile notification service. CloudWatch is a monitoring service and you can use SNS to send messages to a particular email or Slack or any way you want. So according to AWS, the correct answer for this ninth question is SNS, which has which is correct and ChatGPT gave the correct answer for this. Now let's go and ask the 10th question. So I am going to ask the 10th question, which is going to be this. So where can a user find information about prohibited actions on AWS infrastructure? So this is related to security and there are different, you can see AWS Trusted Advisor is one of the security service in AWS. IAM is not going to tell you that, billing is not going to tell you that, acceptable use. ChatGPT has given the correct answer. The D provides information regarding prohibited actions on AWS infrastructure. So ChatGPT has got nine out of 10 correct. Let's go ahead and ask two questions that are not from this, but from somewhere else. So I'm going to ask a question, which is going to be S3 related. So this is the question. If you can answer it, let me know in the comment section, which is if it is the correct answer or not, which of the following can limit Amazon S3 bucket to access a specific user. So what of uh, what can limit Amazon S3? So I think this is going to be the answer I IAM policies, but let's see. So it is correct. Public and private keeper are not re required for S3. You do not require an Amazon inspector to access any S3 buckets and you do not need security group as well. So IAM policy is going to be the answer. Let's go ahead and ask, ask a difficult one. And let's see if ChatGPT can answer that or not. So I have a question here which might be a bit difficult. Which of the following security related actions are available at no cost? So you have calling AWS support, contacting, accessing forums and blogs, attending AWS classes at local university. I'm pretty sure the answer is C, which is accessing forum blogs and white paper because you don't get charged for that. Apart from this, you have to pay for all the services. So one wrong and all of this correct. So you out of 12, it got 11 correct which means ChatGPT has been successfully passed the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. I hope this was informative and for more videos like this, please subscribe to CloudChamp. In the next video, we're going to test out ChatGPT if it can pass the AWS Solutions Architect Associate. So Solutions Architect Associate was not as easy as Cloud Practitioner and I think ChatGPT can find it difficult to answer the questions, but if you want to find out, see that next video, which is going to be linked up here.